so we had a 4.0 uh, and we know that we've seen earlier in Missouri there was a 4.0 earlier in the week and they washed it down to 3.9 and the one thing to pay attention to is a 4.3 out uh, we'll see I'll, I'll go to the, the data in a minute and also Dutch had showed you oh wow they put it back up to a 4.0 okay now yesterday I showed you a video where they had knocked it down to a 3.9 okay so either that or maybe the 4.0 got wiped off for a while that was uh, what's going on now are we going to see the 4.0 there it's a 4.0 there and I thought I just saw that one 4.0 again in Missouri show up on there and is it getting covered up by angle and no it don't look like it is it well it was there for a second I'm pretty sure so I don't know so all I know is one was 4.0 down there before, and it doesn't really matter when you're looking at what we got fresh. We have a 4.0 there, and we'll go look at the data. And remember, like Dutch's video showed you, that they basically erased some data on graphs. And the main reason I'm making this video is basically there has been some tsunami warnings, and I was going to go in here and see if we can find tsunami warnings on here. I'm going to take you to RO RSOE, which we pretty much know is very damn reliable. But there's also like a hush hush, and like I'm saying, there was 600 and some people killed in the Philippines in a tsunami way back when they had a quake, uh, way er, uh, late last 2011. I ended up doing some work on the phone and got an operator over there, and she said she heard in the cab the politically correct thing was to say that uh, it was a bad storm. Okay, but they had a tsunami, and, and now the Philippines are very large, folks. They're spread out. Uh, a lot of small islands, but a lot of big islands also, but all spread out. And the Philippines is mad. I mean, it's spread out a lot. Okay, so it could have been just a small, you know, it was towards the southern part of the Philippines. And that was late in 2011. Okay, now, what we are looking at here is to see what we had for quakes today. 4.6 in northern Colombia. Okay, 4.3 in northern California. Uh, remember, Colombia's not that far away, folks. It's just south. Okay. It is South America, but it is still on our American continent, okay? Uh, so here we go with, well, you can see everything that's in front of you here. I don't need to read them all off and bumble them through them. So uh, we can go and see if we see the Missouri ones and stuff like that. It was 4.0. And the other U.S. one would have been, let's look for another 4.0. Uh, there's your information on your 4.3 out there in Cali. Not far from Eureka, 36 miles. So, and this is why I wanted to show it because basically I try to get details and it won't give me the details. Now I can go up to the map and let me show you. I'm going to click on details on each one of these down there, right? Now watch, I can click on details on something like, uh, let's see on the state of Alaska, that comes up. Now that will come up. You see, okay, so there's your information on that. And then why they're not allowing on that tsunami information, I'm not sure. Probably, like I'm saying, all I know is that one that killed 600 and something, only the British tabloids. And it wasn't tabloids. It was actually the only the British newspapers really reported on that Philippines, okay? And you know how big the Philippines are. I mean, they're they're huge and spread out over there, okay? They don't look like it, but they're spread out for many, many miles over there. And that's over in this area here, okay? In the world. And then, uh, you know, if I'm wrong on that, but I know it's somewhere here, you know. It's somewhere there, okay? Philippines, I think, is right there, I think. Uh, apologize to anybody in the Philippines, but I'm pretty sure it's there. I don't know. i got to zoom in, I guess, now. Let's open up my big fat mouth. We'll zoom in. And we'll go over. Right, let me get it squared up on the Philippines. We'll scoot over to the Philippines. Remember, the Hawaii had like 24 quakes in one day, okay? And that's what I'm interested also is the idea that, okay, let me click on that while we're here because it should show that. And uh, I'll hit the details, and it's going on the 25th, but we had a tsunami warning, as you noticed, on the 24th, okay, for what part of what. So, because that wouldn't click and show, okay? All it shows is an effect is unknown, okay? But then that's on foreign people, too. I got a 4.9 over in Fiji there. So, and then there's also 2.5 over there. That 4.9 in Fiji. So that could possibly, you got to watch your tsunami warnings down there. Uh, I think that would be light enough. That wouldn't be that much effect. But we'll have to see because 
uh, let me just scroll in here. I'll open my fat mouth. We'll talk about the Philippines a little bit. But like I'm saying, uh, it's a large and spread out the Philippines here, folks. And like I say, they had a tsunami. Uh, we'll see what's going on the latest on that. But that was like, it's been quite a while. 8th of February. Okay. But there was a tsunami over in the Philippines there. Well, I had the map up on the Philippines there. But uh, there was a, like I say, I had some technical stuff and basically one of those operating things like, you know, normally you get an operator like in India or something like that for some product, you know, because they won't pay operators here in the United States. They do them overseas because it's cheaper. Well, the product thing I was talking to was in the Philippines and she mentioned about it being in the back seat. And I mentioned this before on one of my videos way back when, it, when I first heard about it. 600 and some people dead from a tsunami and then uh, down in the Philippines. I'm not trying to scare anybody right now. I'm hoping everything is fine on all these. Maybe they're just false warnings. Now, let me go over to USGS because as you see, you can't get any information on them. You see them at US, uh, somebody's overlording uh, being able to bring up, up RSOEs. And so hopefully maybe somebody can mention that to RSOE. Okay. And remember that one object that went by yesterday. That's why you're having the high winds yesterday and today. Pretty much wherever you're probably at. Because it was... Uh, 100 and it was basically 30 kilomiles a second okay the thing wasn't very big it's about somewhere around the, these two here sizes i think it maybe was 250 meters or something like that but and i can't remember the number but the idea that it was moving and like i say every time we get one of those fast ones we're going to get high winds so anything in space it goes by it's just like a, a fast boat going or a big boat going by you and you get a wake in a lake or by the ocean or anything like that okay on the river because it's just like in space like when the astronauts practice in their suits okay it's not water out there but at the same time it's pressure okay in a vacuum and when something goes by at 30 kilomiles a second we get high winds okay so uh like i say you can see that they're not showing on the usgs I mean, on the RSOE here, so we'll see if I can go look for tsunami information on and see what they had and canceled or whatever they did over there. Okay. And our friends up in Canada, St. Lawrence Valley region, Quebec had a 4.0 there. Okay. So you need to upload this here. It's a free deal you can get off of. You can get Earthquake. It's EQ 3D. And there's all kinds of versions of it for free because basically the government supplies all the information for these sites. So a company, in order to pay uh, charge money for the high end one that's got a little bit of bells and whistles to it, which is kind of basically basically it's kind of a waste of time. It's just a bunch of bells and whistles, but whatever, whatever. They still pretty much have to put out a free version, so you can go on and get a free upload of uh, EQ 3D or whatever other names you can come up with. Just put in. Uh, Earthquake live uh, free download, something like that, in a search, and you should be able to pull up one up, okay? Uh, so, and like I'm saying, we basically had a 4.0 down in Missouri earlier this week, okay? And I think if you watch my footage, I think I showed the 4.0 there that popped up for a while, and then they don't, because basically they brushed it off of the data, okay? So, there is America's earthquake activity, okay, within the last 12 days or so, okay, in the world. So, if you want to see the world, hell of a bunch of earthquakes, okay? It ain't no people will talk about what oil companies do and stuff like that. It's not that. We are getting earthquake activity from the super giants and fast moving stars out in space and our position in the universe is. Not just the Milky Way galaxy. We are traveling more than 6,000 miles an hour faster through space, Earth is, and rotating to the east 6,000 miles an hour faster than normally. Normally we average 60,000 miles an hour through space like a bullet, and we do. We spiral like a bullet. Even though we rotate, we also spiral in our path through space, and we follow the sun, and the sun is in the supergiants. And that is what all combined, everything makes Everything works, folks, okay? And that means everything to do with space weather and earth weather, everything makes everything, okay? Everything is connected one way or the other, okay? So anyway, we got this one here. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll just look at the text. I think it should pop up. So here we go. It was in Hawaii on the 24th yesterday.
summit region of Kilauea Volcano. No tsunami is expected. Repeat, no tsunami is expected. However, some areas may have experienced shaking. Okay. So I guess a lot of people must have got startled and called in, I guess, probably. Okay. So basically they had a warning, but it was just basically because the idea that they'd said something because everybody was complaining they were shaking, I guess. Let's go see what this one says on the 24th also. So not, no tsunami is expected. Repeat, no tsunami is expected. However, some areas have experienced, some areas may have experienced shaking. Okay. And you can go back and on the movie and go backwards and stuff and read the dates and times, but it was on the 24th, okay? So let's see what else we got, because basically we don't even have to click on them, because basically you'll see down here. Let's go back to RSOE and see what we missed on. So there you go. Even though you can click on these and you can't get the info, you can still go to USGS and usually get your info. That's the one you want to rely on anyway for tsunami information. But hey, if these guys said to get your ass up to high ground too or something like that, I'd get to high ground too, you know what I'm saying? So let's go back and take a look at these even since the idea that the magnitude of them were pretty high. And since they were all uh, one this month and then one last, two last month, okay? And remember that, you know, they still put a tsunami warming up because the idea it was shaking pretty damn good from uh, Kilauea, I guess. And basically, I need to go look at the webcams. I mean, yesterday, I showed you basically that it was heating up, you know, that she was showing red hot amber in that darkness. So, in the 6.6 .6 on February 13th, they basically didn't have any threat. Okay? But everyone is different. So, the idea that when you get a big one over there, 6 point something, you know, and then 6.4. So, 6.4 and up. And, uh, then you got to be somewhat interested in seeing if you got a tsunami warning. Always check them. Who knows? You know, if they originally say it's a lower quake than what it really was or something like that, you'd always want it just about every quake over there. Anybody that's out in the islands want to check and make sure that you don't have any tsunami warning. Tsunami, tsunami. Now I'm going to go into the Kilauea of pictures real fast, but the idea, like I showed you yesterday on the video, that basically, uh, we were seeing, seeing this and we didn't have any fresh and it was like I think locked from the 23rd I think yeah I think it was the 23rd that it was locked so you get this from the 25th okay so she's getting uh, she's been building and building and building and we've been showing you that basically so those terahydrons tetrahydrons over this doing it so and still locked from the 23rd on this shot here okay probably were taken in the evening but basically it's really not correct because the idea that that's not evening time Okay, it's in the afternoon, so we're not really sure what's going on on the cameras on those one webcams. We know this is fresh from the day, so because of the date, we'll go take a look at it. And this is fresh, we'll go take a little peek inside. There she is, she looks like a big old river of lava down there, but not that hot yet, but you never know, just all of a sudden, kaplooey, you know. So her stretch mark's kind of looking, there's terahydrin, tetrahydrin, or something like that. You can see it beaming down onto it, the right there, you can't miss it. Okay, and I'll pop this down to, uh, I mean, you can see it. I got it blown up to like 400, and we'll pop it down to 100. See if we see any other terahydrons, tetrahydrons. And I guess we'll pop back up to like 200 or something. So you can see it pretty good. There you go. You can't miss that terahydron, tetrahydron. It's almost like, I mean, I showed you the footage yesterday of the Japan one. And let me see if I can pop over to Japan and see what's going on on that Japan one. I mean, it had... Ooh, hey, we're refreshed. We refreshed. So it has the same thing of a planet or star out there spinning. And uh, so, and oh, there's a little bit of terahydrin, tetrahydrin action over here, too. I mean, at least just a dark circle like this, too. This could be even a triangulation if you look at it close enough. Because there does look to be a little bit of one, two, three over here. And then we have that big darkness there, too. Or it could be an object, object uh, hologramming down onto that. Volcano too, so we'll go to the Japan one. Okay, and we're getting real good live feed, and basically you see a flopper right now, right there to the left of where my pointer's at, right on the screen, folks. You can't miss it. There's triangulation tight like what we see that's on the other volcano that I showed you, those two, three dark spots over to the right of the main dark spot, and then you see a, a something that's, see that fast moving?